This video is the first in a three-part introduction to programming GPUs using custom operations with Max and Mojo. We'll cover how to extend Max Graph with custom operations using Mojo to write a simple tensor mapping operation that adds one to every element in the tensor. This will give you a basic understanding of how you can leverage Mojo operations to generalize parallel workloads. Max and Mojo have been optimized to run high-performance code without the need to know the exact characteristics of the target hardware. And this example will run on both CPUs and GPUs. If you want to run on a GPU, officially supported hardware includes NVIDIA Ampere series systems, like A100 or A10 processors, or ADA L4 series processors. Unofficially, we also support consumer-grade GPUs from NVIDIA's 30 and 40 series, and are working on expanding our support to the latest NVIDIA GPUs, as well as AMD GPUs. If you're running on NVIDIA GPUs, you will also need GPU driver version 555 or higher. To get started, you'll need to install Magic, the Modular Package Manager. Modular packages are shipped using the open standards defined by the conduct community, and Magic itself is based on the Pixie Package Manager. After installing Magic, you can download the example project directly into a virtual development environment using Magic in it. Finally, you can change into the Max custom ops directory, which hosts all of the code for the examples in this series. You can then run the example right away by using the command magic run add one. AI models in Max are built as computational graphs using the Max Graph API. Max ships with a powerful graph compiler that can take these graphs and optimize them for the best performance on a wide range of hardware. Each node in a Max graph is defined by an operation that performs a calculation on zero or more inputs and produces one or more outputs. These inputs and outputs are usually tensors, and the operations are usually data parallel calculations that can be accelerated at compile time for both CPUs and GPUs. These operations are written using Mojo a Python-like language built for high-performance computation. With the Max Graph compiler, anyone can write their own custom operations in Mojo and run them as a computational graph. This first example, add one, is a typical hello world type use case for getting started with GPU programming. It takes an input tensor and adds the scalar one to every element in that tensor. We begin this example by opening the add1.mojo file that's located in the operations subdirectory. Custom operations are defined as mojo structures that follow a standard format. In this example, we create a structure called add1. The decorator, compiler register, is used to register the custom operation using the name add1 with the graph compiler. We then define a static function called execute that is parameterized with a string literal called target that will be used at compile time to generate code that is optimized for either CPU or GPU devices. The outputs and inputs take the form of output tensor and input tensor respectively. These are both specialized versions of the managed tensor slice type, which represents a tensor of a specific rank and data type whose memory is managed outside of the operation. Within this computation, Elements are read from the input tensors and written directly to the output tensors. Note that when defining the static execute method, order matters. Output tensors must come first in the function signature, followed by the input tensors. These tensors are built off of the Mojo SIMD data type, which is parameterized at compile time against a data type, for example, different floating point types, and the width of the SIMD registers that hold the data. The core of the computation is defined in the function elementwise add one, which is a closure that captures the input values. The work in this function is fairly simple. It loads each value from the tensor, adds one to each of them, and then stores the result in the output tensor. Note that by using the built-in SIMD type, the computation is able to take advantage of vector acceleration for free. Finally, the for each function distributes an element-wise computation in parallel across all elements of the output tensor. This method is where the magic happens. Behind the scenes, it's implemented for a variety of hardware platforms and will distribute workloads in parallel to optimize computational resources. 
This custom operation can then be compiled as a reusable library, which will be loaded by the MaxGraph API. The package task in the pyproject.toml file will compile the operation and make it available to the graph compiler. Now, let's take a look at how we can run this custom operation. Open the file add1.py. This is where we'll build our computational graph, compile it, and dispatch it to the target hardware. We begin by defining the size and data types of the input and output tensors. We then build a computational graph specifying the single custom forward operation, add1, that was registered with the graph compiler. We then define a target device, which will be a GPU if it's available, or a CPU otherwise. Note that Max automatically handles discovering the GPU type and how the operations will be optimized to run on them. We then set up an inference session for running the graph and compile it. We initialize a NumPy tensor with random values. Then we create a driver tensor and if necessary, copy the data over to the accelerator. Note that if we're running on the CPU, this is a low cost operation. The tensor will just point to the existing values in memory. Copying is only required if we're moving the data from the CPU to the GPU. Finally, we can perform the calculation on the target device. Once the calculation is complete, we copy the data back to the CPU if necessary, and then we output the final results. In this example, we also compute the same output using NumPy and compare the results to guarantee that they're the same. From your shell, you can compile the custom operation and run the example using magic run add one. Head over to builds.modular.com where you can find this example and many others, including a full catalog of models that can be run on the Max platform, recipes to help you get started with GPU programming using Mojo, example agent workloads to run on Max models, as well as pre-built packages from our enthusiastic developer community. If you have questions about this example, want to give feedback, or have a project to share, you can join the modular community at forum.modular.com. In parts two and three, we'll cover more advanced examples, including adding two tensors together and leveraging Mojo's built-in complex type to compute a visualization of the Mandelbrot set. Thanks for watching. We're excited to see what you build with Max and Mojo.